Good morning, my name is Matt and it is great uh, to be with you this morning in our devotions. I hope you've been enjoying our uh, walk through the Gospel of Mark in this season and uh, we're actually in the very last chapter of Mark and uh, in my Bible it's titled as The Resurrection and uh, the subtitles are Jesus appearing uh, to Mary Magdalene, Jesus appearing to two disciples, and then finally, the Great Commission. Let me just briefly read to you uh, from uh, the last part of this chapter. Uh, Afterwards, he appeared to the eleven themselves as they were reclining at table, and he rebuked them for their unbelief and their hardness of heart, because they had not believed those who saw him after he had risen. And then he said to them, Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. Later on it says, they went out and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them. Uh, just uh, fascinating to to know that um, when you become a Christian, uh, we, uh, we're we taught, aren't we, that we, we have this new life, uh, we have new identity, and uh, there is also something that's been put into our hands, and that is the Great Commission. And uh, we can often, you know, reject uh, perhaps anything that we have to do in order to to please God. But Jesus is pretty clear here. Hey, you've heard good news. Uh, You once heard it for yourself. You heard the gospel. Somebody uh, taught you about Jesus. You heard it with your own ears and you responded in your heart. And uh, perhaps you're watching this and you've not done that yet. Maybe you need to respond to the word of God and he's calling you. Uh, but lots of us watching will know that we are uh, already believing, Bible-believing, Jesus-following Christians. And uh, there is also uh, something for us to do. And Jesus is very clear. Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. Let me just read to you from um, uh, Phil Moore, who's a Bible commentator, has written some brilliant commentaries on the Bible. And um, he, in his Straight to the Heart series, uh, writes this. Uh, James Hudson Taylor, he was a missionary that went to to China. On Sunday morning, 25th of June, 1865, Taylor found himself in church in the English seaside resort of Brighton. And writes this. As the full congregation rose to sing the last hymn, Taylor looked around pew upon pew of prosperous bearded merchants, Hmm, not much has changed there then, shopkeepers, visitors, demure wives in bonnets and crinolines, scrub children trained to hide their impatience, the atmosphere of smug piety sickened him, and he seized his hat and left, unable to bear the sight of a congregation of a thousand or more Christian people rejoicing in their own security while millions were perishing. For lack of knowledge, I wandered out onto the sands alone in great spiritual agony. I think they mean pebbles, actually, rather than sands. Uh, But um, what we're reading here is uh, the the Great Commission uh, captured uh, James uh, Hudson Taylor's heart. And Jesus loves it. He absolutely loves it when we obey him because it's part of our worship and we have a tendency in our culture don't we to perhaps um, uh, reduce the scope of the gospel uh, to uh, our own little individual lives and uh, whilst there's nothing wrong with that um, this morning I just want to open our eyes uh, to what the real call on our lives is I'm I'm so glad that we are um, in a church that has recognized that Uh, The proclamation of the gospel is two things. First of all, it's a global thing. It's something that we're called to do uh, to all the nations. And so to be in a church that that, uh, has really founded on church planting values, and we already uh, planted a number of churches um, in different areas, you'll know all about that if you've been with us any length of time. We're connected to uh, a worldwide family of churches called New Frontiers, uh, whose one of the primary responsibilities is to plant churches simply for the proclamation of the gospel. 
How does that relate to us on a personal level? Well, the thing I just want to help you with this morning is to uh, just debunk the idea that you have to be special or uh, particularly gifted to communicate the gospel. Uh, that very last sentence that I read to you in this in this passage was that the Lord worked with them. And I want you to get a grip of that this morning um, as we come to the end of this week. Um, and just for a moment, just remember that um, the Great Commission, the call on you as a believer, uh, is to communicate the gospel in different ways. You might do that by the way that you uh, raise your family, perhaps the way that you uh, lead at work, uh, whatever it is that you are doing, people are watching you. Uh, there is also uh, a responsibility as well on us to be alive to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. As a believer, you're indwelt by the Holy Spirit, which means that you have power in you that is the same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. And if that is true, then anything is possible. What I want you to do is to remember that the Lord is with you. He works with you. Uh, the responsibility for converting souls is not yours, it's Jesus. That's what he does best. He's the one that saves. Uh, all that we do is we become a conduit of good news. So just ahead of this weekend, whatever it is you're doing, as we slowly come out of lockdown and we begin to relate with people again, Look out for opportunities to communicate good news. Let's pray. Lord, thank you uh, for your, your death and your life, your resurrection that has brought us freedom. Thank you that uh, before you ascended to heaven, you made it really clear uh, to your disciples. Go and tell people about me. Go and communicate what it is that has happened in your life, that others might be intrigued and eventually saved. By this life that's on offer and lord so we do pray god that we would really experience you working with us that we wouldn't feel a burden of having to compel people with the gospel but just to communicate it lord and i pray that we would do that with joy amen have a super day